Hey, how's it going gamers? My name's Flish from a little bit from the future and today I will be showing you how to go from nothing to having the dimensional world and getting started in Thinker's Construct. Hope you guys are ready. This mod pack actually has quite a bit of things we can do in it. It's, it's a mix of tech mods and magic mods. But it starts off as any other vanilla Minecraft would bunch trees. So that's what we'll be doing for the next few seconds or minutes. Punching trees, gamers. That is what we do. All right, after punching a few trees, we see these nice berry leaves. They're quite useful. You could eat them for food early game. Yeah, let's pick them up. Put them closer to our base so that we have something to eat later. All right, gamers. After looking around the island or this continent that we're on, I decided to make my base right here. This looks like a nice looking area to settle down for now. So I'm gonna plant my trees right here, so I have some form of wood. Alright, I think th this is a really nice spot. So, this is where we'll start. I'm starting to get a little hungry here. I'll eat some apples. Hmm, okay. I like it. This will be our area. Right here. So, for the first mod we're gonna look through is actually Thinker's Construct. As you see on the right, right here, this is called the JEI, where you could search for things and then you could click on them see the recipe on how to make said thing it's quite nice to have all right first thing we're gonna do is add thinkers and we could look at the thinkers construct mod by itself and this is where we will start our modded journey we'll take our oak wood make some planks make some planks make a crafting table and actually turn the cra crafting table to a crafting station this is a very nice thing to have. It's quite handy. So we'll have that. And now we'll make some patterns. Let's see. Hmm, I think I could use a little bit more patterns. Bam, that should be enough. First thing we're gonna make is a parts builder. And then a stencil table. Let's get a chest in here, a pattern chest, and I know we're missing something. It is the tool station. Sweet. This is this is what will get us started on modded. All right. So first thing we're gonna do is craft a whole bunch of these patterns. All right, gamers, it's starting to get to nighttime. It's a good timing. And I think we should get started on our tools here. Let me show y'all how to make some Tinker's Construct tools. So the, this right here on the left hand side is the list of all the things you could make with the tool station, which we will be upgrading to a tools forge later so that we could get access to even more items. But this right here is the pickaxe, and these are the components that we need to make said pickaxe. So to get the components, we need a tool rod, pickaxe head, and a binding. So we'll get to that right now. We got pickaxe head, a binding, and a tool rod. Bam. And we'll get ourselves a, a pickaxe right away, actually. We're gonna need some stone. So I see some stone here and start getting our tools. All right, after a little bit, we got 19 and hopefully this is enough to get us to an upgrade here. So the best part about these Tinker's Construct tools is that you could actually upgrade them over time. Let me show y'all how. 
We're gonna take this pickaxe head and a cheap binding, stone binding. I mean, we'll put our tool here and replace those parts. And bam, we have a stone pickaxe. That's how it's done. Let's go ahead and make our the rest of our tools here. Get ourselves parts for a broadsword, a shovel, and a hatchet. It's also known as an axe. They are very nice tools to have early game. Alright, since it's nighttime, there's really not much to do. Can't really go out. I might get killed by a bunch of monsters. So I think we'll just start mining down for now. Hey guys, after mining for a bit, my tool actually broke and this is a good time to show you guys how to repair your tool. So you can take your stone pickaxe and you could repair it with st oh, cobblestone, which is quite nice. It's quite nifty or you could actually... Oh, I heard a creeper. Creeper! Could do this all night. Oh man. Well, that can't be good. Oh well. We'll fix it up later. But another way to repair is using these sharpening kits. So let's say your stone broadsword is gone and broken. You could actually use a repair kit to repair it. Very nice indeed. So since it's not nighttime yet, I do want to find a little bit of iron to show you guys how to get to the mining dimension. Alright guys, after a while, I finally found some iron. That took forever. And some coal, which is quite nice. I could use this coal to smelt the iron. So, very nice find indeed. Only took a little bit. It only took a little bit. Alright guys, after a little bit of mining, I got a little bit of stuff. Look at this. I'm just gonna... Put everything in here for now and we'll figure it out in a bit, actually. You know what? We can't place this chest right next to this thing right here. Yes. And that will connect this chest to this crafting station. Very nice. So, the first thing I actually want to do is make some furnaces. Got this. Alright, we'll just place our furnace, set furnaces right here. Okay, actually let's level down our ground here for just a little bit. There we go. Very nice. Alright, and with coal, thanks to the actual additions mod, you could actually split them up into 8 parts called tiny coal very very nice indeed and with that done we could evenly put our coal in here in our little furnaces just to speed up production a little bit I made eight cuz I like to spell things up in a little punch so to get to the mining dimension we are going to need the multi mining tool, which we need a flint and steel. We do have flint, and we just need iron. All right, let's get to it. And actually, we're gonna need some of these stone bricks. Let's make twelve. And you know what, guys? I'm also getting pretty hungry. While I was out there running around collecting trees, I actually found some barley. They are quite nice. You could smash them up, ground them up. To be barley flour right here. They actually might make a good source of bread. Alright, now that we got our stone, let's go make some things happen. We got this and that. Get our you could actually click on these things with the multi-mining tool. And then you could move said missing items, which is quite nice. Let me show y'all. Bam! It is quite easy. Whatever you need, the game's got you. And I'm gonna need some sticks. 
Let's up pickaxe. And now we got our multi mining tool. Very nice tool. And this is your access to the mining dimension, actually. Which is it's a nice dimension. That dimension is kind of just used to uh, to have some place to mine. Cause just in case you don't want to ruin your overworld, because mining does make some pretty ugly holes, gamers. And it's not good looking. All right, and then we're just gonna light it up the, with the multi mining tool. Bam. Good, good, good. We're gonna get ourselves some more sharp, uh, more sharpening kits. All right, and then we're gonna go mining. Let's see. Let's go grab our bread first, and repair our tool out here while we're here. All right. The next thing what we want to do actually is upgrade our tool station so we could get much better tools than we have now. For that, we're gonna need some iron. All right. I'm gonna go on a mining trip and I'll probably fast forward it too. Let's go. Hey guys, so this is the mining dimension. It's just a flat world. And look, we got some more barley. A nice source of bread. You could right click on them to harvest. All right. It's kind of a little bit cheating using the mining world for this, but it is what it is. We will now go get ourselves some resources, hopefully. Okay, guys, after mining a little bit and actually getting a little bit lost, I got a little bit of loot. We got ourselves some iron, some gravel, some clay, actually, and a little bit of tin and copper. It's quite nice. So, we'll just go back home. But first, let's go grab some barley on our way back so that we have more food to work with. And actually, let me show you guys another sweet tip. If you press J, you pull up this nice map and you, you can click on waypoints and it, new, and then you could actually name, you could actually save some landmarks this way so that you could always see where you're going. Another sweet tip is actually, if you type slash set home, set home, makes this it marks this area where you ever you're standing as home and whenever you need to go back home or like, you know you're mining you got lost you could always type slash home then bam you stand still for five seconds and you, you teleport back home very handy tool indeed so that being said let's go smite up some iron actually before smelting it up I do need, we could make this quartz grindstone from applied energy sticks. So let's do that and start doubling our ores. We're going to need some stone. That's okay. Bam. All right. After getting our stone from that, we can actually go make our... Grindstone. That's what I wanted. Alright, sorry. I got, got lost there for a second. There it is. You could actually press A on these. And any of these things. And it will actually put them right here in the left corner. As like, it's going to serve more like a uh, benchmark. Check mark. Benchmark. And bam, we got ourselves a nice grindstone. We're actually going to need a crank to work it. This is a little bit of manual work. But it is what it is for now. We'll just place it down right here and then bam shift right click on that there you go and with that we could double our ores check this out we got 36 iron actually let's just put one in there for example crank this boy up 
and bam! Get ourselves two pulverized iron, which you could smelt to get one iron each. Very nice tool. So, with that being said, let's go make at least 36 iron. Alright gamers, after getting 36 pieces of iron, we're gonna go smelt them up. Okay, after, this is what we're working towards right here gamers, this tool forge. And actually, we're gonna need these seared bricks. We're gonna need some seared bricks, which is pretty easy. It's just You're just gonna need some grout and smelt those up. Mm, let's see, crap. There it is. Let's go make some gravel. It's just gonna need some gravel, sand, and clay. We're gonna need 12. All right, got that going. We're just gonna split this up for efficiency. All right, while well, that's melting. We are, we are trucking along. This first episode, I kinda just wanna make some nice tools. Make some nice tools to get us nice and started. Actually, we'll do a little bit of landscape in here. Let's fix this hole that the creeper made. All right, we got our seared bricks. Let's get to working. We are going to need to combine that, these singular seared brick into seared bricks, plural. All right, and then our iron's actually done. Sweet, good timing. We are going to need the tool forge. So we're gonna click on this block of iron and actually you could shift click this move items button to put all your iron into making said iron block. Sweet. So with that being said, we have the bricks, you have the iron blocks and now we need the tool station which you could just take this one all right bam get ourselves the tool forge and this boy has access to a whole lot more tools which is nice so hopefully we can get to upgrading do some upgrades here this so what's new is this hammer this hammer mines in a 3x3 area, which is nice. And this excavator digs in a 3x3 area. And this lumber axe actually takes down whole trees with one swing. So let's go get the materials for all of this real quick. Alright, I have all the necessary things to make upgraded tools. So let's do that. We got our tool rod, hammerhead, and large plates. And then we need the excavator, bam, and the lumber axe. Very nice gamers, we've upgraded our tools. Let me show y'all. So this digs in a 3x3 area, very nice. Oh, we got our crab attacking us here. He's crazy. <laughs> All right, let me show you guys the lumber axe. All right, bam, taking down whole forest with this thing. Let's go. Okay, it's good, it's good. All right, let's replant and and I think I'm actually gonna end the episode here. We got pretty far for our first episode. I I believe that we did. We got food. And we turned this area into this nice looking area. <laughs> this is gonna be our temporary home for now. And actually, hopefully by next episode, I'm gonna have this whole area a little bit more leveled down. So that's what I'll be doing off cam before the X next episode actually. Or actually just have it fast forwarded for you guys so that nobody can say, what the? 
Hey guys, I did some off cam mining. <laughs> well, like and subscribe, gamers, for more. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Boop!